Good day viewers, my name is Dauda Yusuf Olaraji from Nigeria Tulip International College. We are here to solve past question, JAM, from 2010 to 2019, in particular SOD. Now, you see how we will learn. Now, as you can see, this is JAM question 2010, question 1. We have to rationalize 2, re two root 3 plus root 5 all over root 5 minus root 3. All we need to do here is just to rationalize. What is rationalize? Rationalizing with a conjugate. That is to say, if you look at the denominator, it is root 5 minus root 3. How do you now rationalize this? Finding the conjugate, all you need to do is just to change the sign in between the two roots, which is what? Root 5 plus root 3. Then at the end, you multiply both the numerator and the denominator by what you have. That is to say, this multiply this, this multiply this. Then the next thing is to open the bracket. By the time you open the bracket, you have this. That is 2 root 15 plus 6 plus 5 plus root 15 all over 5 minus 3. By the time you collect the like terms, we have this and this together, this and this together. At the end, this is what it's going to give us. That is to say, 2 root 15 plus root 15, then 6 plus 5. What is 2 root 15 plus root 15? Root 15 means 1 root 15. So 2 root 15 plus 1 root 15 gives this. Then 6 plus 5 gives this. Then all over 5 minus 3, which is 2. It means the answer is what? B, as you can see. Then the next one is... Number two, number two, we are asked to simplify root five plus one over root three, multiply root two minus one over root three. This is 2011 question. Now looking at this, using the principle of identity, then what is the meaning of that? We have difference of two square. We have a plus b, multiply a, mi a minus b, is the same thing as a square minus b squared. We are going to use the concept for this. Then we have what is called, if you look at this, it's just like a plus b, a minus b. So we now write it in form of this, which is root two square minus one over root three all square. Now let us focus on this and this, which is what? Root two raised to two is the same thing as two. Then root 1 over root 3, all square is the same thing as 1 over, 1 over 3. By the time you simplify this, that is to say 2 minus 1 over 3 at the end is going to give you 5 over 3. Then the next one is, look at this, we are having root, three, root 6 plus 2, all square, minus root 6 minus 2, all square. This one looks like the previous one. If you look at the equation, this, this is 2012. Look at this. They are now in difference of two squared. We can as well use the principle of identity. Then what is it? We have a squared minus b squared, which is the same thing as a plus b in bracket, multiply a minus b in bracket. So this one is serving as a, this one is serving as what? b. Then we now have a plus b in bracket, a minus b in bracket. Collecting the like terms, 2 minus 2 will give you 0 here. Then root 6 plus root 6, like I told you, root 6 is the same thing as 1 root 6. Root 6 plus root 6 will give you 2 root 6. Then 2 minus 2, 0. That is the first bracket. Then if you look at the second one, root 6 minus root 6, that is 0. Then 2 plus 2, which is what? 4. By the time you multiply this, 2 root 6 multiply 4. These two we multiply 4, that gives you what? 8 root 6. If you look at the option, the option is what? C. The correct answer is what? C. Then the next one, we have question number, number 3. Question number 3 is telling, okay, we have done question number 3. That's question number 4. Is telling us root 5, open bracket, 147 minus root 12, all over root 15. This is question 
2013, number four. Now, what you're going to do here, this is the equation given to us. Then the first thing is to have this. We break the root. 147 is the same thing as 49 multiplied three, minus 12 is the same thing as four multiplied three. Then if you look at the 15 also, is the same thing as five multiplied three. Then the next thing is, now look at this. If you are trying to split it, root five times three is the same thing as root five multiply root three. Then we have this. Mathematically, this guy can clear this guy. So at the end, we have what is called root five times five root, five root three. From here, seven root three minus two root three, which is giving us what? Five root three. Then this one here, this one here, this one here. Then at the end, this root five can clear this root five. Root three can clear this root three. Then the answer is what? Five, which is what? Option B. Then the next thing. Now look at this question number five. We're asked to find the square root of 160 R square plus the square root of 71 R root four, R raised to four plus the square root of 100 R raised to eight. Then look at this. Like I said, whenever you have something like this, it is always advisable to start from the right hand side in order to avoid mistake. For instance, if you have to find the square root of R raised to four, it's the same thing as R2. If you have to find the square root of R raised to 10, it's just the same thing as R raised to five. Now, like I said, start from the right hand side. So now look at this. The square root of 100 R raised to the power of eight is the same thing, you can split it. Square root of 100 is 10. Y square root of R raised to the power of eight is the same thing as what? R raised to four. Then you add these two guys because what? They are like terms. 71 R raised to four plus eight, 10 R raised to four, it gives you what? 81 R raised to four. Then you find the square root of 81 R raised to four, which it will give you 9R raised to 10. You can now see that this is R2, this is R2. Add the two of them together, it will give you square root of 169R raised to 2. Then what is square root of 169? 13. What is the square root of R raised to 2? Is just R. But one thing you should know, if you are asked to find the square root of maybe R raised to 10, all you need to do, just divide the, the power into 2. Example, what is the square root of R raised to 100? Just divide the 100, that gives you what? R raised to what? 50. So that is how to do it. Then the answer is 13 R, which is what? Option C. Then the next thing, the next thing is what? 2016 question six. We have to simplify square root of one plus x plus root x all over one plus x minus root s. Now let's check this one out. These are equation given to us. Then we also rationalize with the conjugate. Like I said, whenever you have something like this, focus on the denominator. The sign between the first one and the second one is minus. So for you to now rationalize, then you change the minus to what? The plus. If you change the minus to plus, whatever you have, then you multiply both the numerator and the denominator by what you have. If you look at this, multiply it by this, they are, they are the same. So that's why if you have x times x, it gives x squared. Likewise, this, this one, multiply by this one, you have this. Then this one, multiply by this, then we have what is called one plus x or minus x. By the time you open this bracket, you have this. Then the next thing is to what? Collect the like terms here. x plus x, but it is not possible for you to add one and two. Because this two is together with this root. Now look at this. We now have one plus two x plus two root x open bracket one plus x. If you look at this, one plus x 
you open and close the bracket minus x. By the time you open this bracket, this x will clear this x, then everything will now be over one. That is why the denominator disappeared. If you now look at the option B, that's the right answer. Then the next thing, the next thing is question, now year 2017, question seven. We have to simplify four root 27 plus five root 12 minus three root 75. Whenever you want to do this one, just find a way that you can simplify it by breaking the numbers. Look at this. Now look at this, we have 27 is the same thing as three times nine, 12 is the same thing as three times four, then 75 is the same thing as three times 25. Now let's, let's just continue. By the time you find the square root of nine, it will be three, Square root of 4, it will be 2. Square root of 25, it will be 5. Then at the end, we have what is called, this square root of 9 is this 3, then 4 times 3. This square root of 4 is this 2, that's why we have this. This square root of 25 is this 5, that's why we have this. Then 4 times 3, we give you 12. Can you see? 5 times 2, we give you 8. 3 times 5, we give you this. You can now see that root 3 is common to all. That is why root 3 is pushed out. Then we factorize this. Then at the end, what is 12 plus 10? We have 7 root 3. So the option D is what the answer. Then the next thing, which is question, question H, 2009, we have to find the value of what? K. We have to find the value of k. It's advisable if you can also break this one. If you can also break this one, like root 28 is the same thing as root 7 times 4. Root 112 is the same thing as 16 times 7 minus k. Then root 175 is the same thing as 25 times 7. By the time you find the square root of this, it will come out. This guy will come out. This guy will come out. Now look at this. Square root of 4 is 2 root seven, square root of 16, we have this, square root of, you can now see that root seven is to common to most. Then at the end, by the time you collect the like terms, we have, I'm leaving minus k to the left hand side, then this guy push it to the right hand side. Five root seven, by the time you push, this guy and this guy will give you six root seven, then six root seven, push it to the right hand side, it becomes five root seven minus six root seven. And what is 5 root 7 minus 6 root 7? It's giving us minus root 7, which is the same thing as minus 1 root 7. Minus is common to all. You can just clear. Then take the square of both sides. This minus raised to 2. Take note. Minus raised to an even number, we give you plus. Minus raised to an odd number, we give you minus. Then if you look at this, minus raised to 2, the minus is gone. Minus raised to 2 here, minus has disappeared. Then root k squared is the same thing as k. Then root 7 squared is the same thing as what? 7. Then finally, the answer is what? 7, which is what? B. Then question, question 9, we have 2 root 3 minus root 2 all over root 3 plus 2 root 2. We are asked to write it in form of this. Then find the values of m and n respectively. That is to say, by the time you finish solving, everything must be in form of this. That this is 2019 question. Now, how do we now do this? All you still need to do is to rationalize with the conjugate. How do we do that? Then by, if you look at the denominator, the sign between this and this is what? Plus. Then the next thing is to what? Change it to minus. After changing it to minus, multiply by the numerator and the denominator. We have this. This one is this, this one is this, right? And this one is this. By the time you now multiply by what we have here, we have this, we have this. Look at this, look at this. At the end, by the time you multiply, open the bracket, you have six minus four root six minus root six plus what? Four. Then by the time you open this one also, you're going to have three minus eight. Then. This is minus four root six minus one root six. Like I said, minus root six is the same thing as minus one root six. It's just like collecting the like terms, six plus four, then this and this, this and this. We have 
6 plus 4 will give you 10. Minus 4 root 6. Minus root 6 will give you minus 5 root 6. Then 3 minus 8 will give you what? Minus 5. Look at the numerator. Something is common to this guy and this guy, which is what? 5. Push the 5 out. This 5 can clear this 5. Then we have minus. By the time you take the minus up, we have minus open bracket 2 minus root 6. So that is, if you look at the then, but they said we should put it in terms of m plus n, then plus what? Root 6. Open this bracket, this becomes minus 2. Minus times minus, this one becomes what? Plus. Then what is our m? Our m will now be m equals to minus 2, n equals to what? 1. That is our final answer, which is what? B. Then the last question which is question, this one is 2019. We have question 10 here. We have to find the value of x. Obviously, this is an equation. Finding the value of x, what are we going to do? This is it. We have what is called, by the time you cross multiply, we have this times this, then this times this. Then open this bracket, this is root two times x will give you x root two. Root 2 times this will give you what? Minus what? 2. Then we have this guy is the same thing as this guy. Collecting the like terms is the next thing. By the time you collect the like terms, that is to say, this guy remains here. This guy, you, come, you bring it here. This x, take it to the right hand side. That's why we have, see this one is root 2. I'm not changing the sign. This guy bring it here becomes plus. This one is coming, to, is still here. I'm not changing the sign. This guy move it to the right hand side. That's why we have minus x. Then the next thing is, x is common to these two guys. Push it out. We have x open bracket root two minus one. Since you are looking for the value of x, you can just divide both sides by the coefficient of x, which is this. Then mathematically, we can still solve for them. How do we do this? Rationalize with the conjugate, and which is, since this denominator is root 2 minus 1, you change it to what? Root 2 plus 1. Then you multiply both the numerator and the denominator with what you have here. We have this. We have this. Then this times this. This times this. Then we have what is called... This times this will give you 2 root 2. By the time you uh, open the bracket, we have 4 plus 3 root 2. And our answer happens to be what? A. Hopefully we enjoyed the equation we just solved and by God's grace we are hoping to bring a, another one which you enjoy better. Thank you and have a nice day.